Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this VHS title effect. So I've got this Camp Keyframe text here. As you can see, it looks kind of old and jittery and janky, and it looks like it's old school from a VHS camera, like back in the days. So we're going to recreate this, create a new composition, I call this VHS title 2. And we're going to type some text in here. Let's just make it this VHS title. Oop. Ew. All right. And then give this like a really bright, bold red color. Doesn't really matter which color it is. Okay. Put this in the middle here. Whoops. Um, make it in the middle. Give us a nice font. I'm going to use my keyframe font that I use which I like, but it doesn't really matter which one you use. So first off, we're going to make this kind of jittery uh, thing. Press P on the keyboard for position, and then with option, click on the stopwatch to create an expression, and we're gonna type wiggle, open parentheses, uh, 1, 10, that's the basic one. But I want this, um, oh, I misspelled wiggle there. Wiggle, there you go. So now it's kind of, um, as you can see, floating around a little bit but I want this to be really fast and have a really small movement. So the first value here is the quick, the speed of the movement. So let's make this 20 or 200 maybe even. And then this can be one, like how, how much is going to move. So it's going to be really jittery as you can see, like kind of stuttering around a little bit. Maybe it is even a bit too much. Well, if we zoom out, I think it's fine. There's really subtle effect. Okay, nice. Now we're going to add some blur to it. So go to help, type in fast box blur, and then maybe put this at three. So it's gonna, it's a little bit less sharp as you can see, which is really nice. Then we're going to add some more. We're going to add a grain effect. We go to effects, noise and grain noise. And I'm gonna put this at like nine, maybe, maybe even more. Let's crank this up. Yeah, let's do it like this, like 23, that's fine. Then we're going to create a adjustment layer, new adjustment layer. This kind of um, um, affects everything below it. So we're going to add another effect, another, um, and it's called Venetian blind. So we're gonna go to help and type in Venetian, Venetian, there you go, transition Venetian blind, so we're there. So let's put this at 15%, okay, uh, 90 degrees, so move to the right, this is perfectly straight. Width can be five, like really small. And we can have a feather, which is a bit bigger, not too big, like, yeah, like that. So we got these little lines in there. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's quite, a, maybe make the make it a little bit, maybe one. No, that's too much, maybe two. All right. Okay, we have these lines in there, which is really cool, but I don't want them to be visible all of the time. So we're going to go play with the opacity here. Let's just make this comp 10 seconds long. And I'm gonna go to the T for the opacity and make it this, and then here uh, zero, and then here 100 again, and then leave it on there for a while, and then make it zero again, and then zero, and then back to 100. So I'm going to, copy these ones here. So we have this kind of, like it's coming in and out of the screen, those those lines, um, yeah, like that, which looks good. Then we're going to give this uh, uh, VHS title, right click, layer style, and then an outer glow. And the glow color can be the same red. So let's just, uh, oh, I can actually just take this red here. Nice, and we're going to make it a bit bigger. So the size, where are you? Here you go. Make it a little bit bigger, not too big, not too soft. Just like that. 20, maybe 30. Yeah, but I don't want to have these kind of things in the middle here, so I think it was better at 20. Yeah, so you can see with and without this layer style, it does a whole lot to make it even more old schooly. So we're going to play well with this opacity as well here. So press U. And we're going to kind of make this move up as well. So now it's at 75. Then maybe here it is at 20. And then back to 40. And then here is it still 40. And then it's 75 again. 75. And then we go to 100 really quick and I'm back to 60 
and now over here is 60 and then we're gonna go a bit down again so make this really random and then copy all of these so we can design this pattern so here you can have this kind of glowy effect going maybe put some layer new adjustment layer and i'm gonna type in posterize time and i'm gonna make this 12 frames per second so it doesn't move as fast so we get a little bit more jittery vibe but this makes it a whole lot slower and uh, it's a bit it's a bit heavy on your uh, computer so maybe have a bit of patience here to make it have it load and then we have a little bit of a a nicer vibe to this cool and i'm looking at it and i think the venetian blinds are not there enough i can't really i can't really see them so the opacity yeah like that okay i think that's better i think those lines need to be better represented nice and then we're going to add some uh, another effect i'm gonna open this up it's in footage and with this grain and noise layer we're gonna put this on top to add a bit of grain and like speckle of it and i've made this in a video last week you can check it out uh, how to create this grain and noise layer yourself and uh, just to give it a bit more extra flair and make it look even more crappy uh, which is the goal here to make it crappy and maybe just this is just a layer of post time just to give this an other just um, one more noise effect to make it even more i put it as, as 10 so we get some more noise going so yeah i think this should do it here let's have this load for a sec so there you go that's the vhs title sequence thingy uh, looks kind of old and raggedy. Of course, it's really quickly right now, so I think you can play a bit more around a bit more with these um, opacity uh, keyframes. In this example, it looks a little bit better. It's a bit more refined. Um, so just play around with that, uh, with the values. Uh, if you support me on Patreon, you can download all the project files for this video, so you can play around with it yourself, copy it, uh, change the text to something else. Um, just use it however you want and you also get this grain and noise uh, MOV the, the video that I made in a previous uh, tutorial so you could get all of that when you support me on patreon plus some more exclusive stuff and discounts on my products whatever uh, thank you guys for watching I hope to see you on the next tutorial on cap keyframe so yeah thanks bye bye <laughs>